This started out as our club wanting a project showing the preservation of our history. We wanted something that we could haul around. We wanted something that could be looked at, that we could make a teaching thing out of it, showing younger people how farming was. It all began in Florida when we saw an original cutaway uh, at, at a uh, Red Power show. In 1950, International went to the uh, State Fair in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, that's where they first displayed the tractor. Then they uh, built 13 of them for colleges, for educational purposes. We wanted one for ourselves to take to shows for demonstration and maybe to schools as well. We had it in our mind to buy one or, or get one, and by luck, uh, Dale Green uh, had one and he donated it to the club. One of the reasons they built this particular tractor was to replace the horse. It was something that was affordable for small farms. It was something that the, the person with a couple of horses could afford to go to maybe. And it's something that uh, small farmers were actually could afford to run. So I understand you're interested in tractors. Yeah. And do you have a favorite color? Red. Red? Well, that certainly is interesting, because I happen to know a little about red tractors. What does the tractor do anyway? Well, the tractor does uh, multiple things. It has different implements. It had a 12-inch plow that we could hook to the back that came to the front to hook up. And as the farmer drove down the field, he could plow the field. And it had a set of discs. Disc is what you uh, disc up the ground with to make it level, kill the weeds. And as you drive through the field, it would cultivate and put down fertilizer and de-weed the crop as you go. You can plant corn, plant cucumbers, you can plant squash, anything that uh, you wanted to plant that was a seed crop. This tractor shows technology that's over 70 years old, and it actually was a functioning machine uh, before we cut it apart, and it shows how things work, and engines still work the same way today. I took a, a heavy duty motor with a 57 to 1 ratio uh, gearbox drive uh, reducer, put it on a belt, I put a small pulley here and a big pulley here so I could get it slowed down some more. And this way I've got the engine turning about 20 RPM. And that's how you're able to get it really slow so we can look at it? Yeah, so you can see what it is. We started uh, with getting it off the ground where it could sit there and run and not move around. We also tried to make everything in the tractor run and function. We were able to get oiling in the engine to function as it should. Everything works as it, as it ought to at just a slow RPM. Why are these colored? Why is that colored? That is an excellent question. We colored this because we want people to understand engines have to have air to operate. So the air goes into yellow paint on both sides, and it comes up through the pink, comes over to here, and goes out the stack. I cut most of the places that uh, the original was cut. I guess my mechanical background kind of helped me out there. I worried a lot about it. I did. Uh, you know, you, you're cutting in there and then you hit a gear or something and everything goes haywire. <laughs> What's this thing in there? That down in there is the clutch and the flywheel. The flywheel is a heavy thing that turns that makes everything kind of smooth out when it's running. And the clutch is right on the back side of that so that when you mash the clutch in, when you drive the tractor, you remember you push the clutch in so you can change gears. And here we have the head of the motor and I saw you guys cut out part where you can see if the in exhaust the, is. In the motor you can see down here the crankshaft turning, the camshaft turning, and you can see the valves lifting, the piston going up and down in each cylinder, and each time that the 
it comes up in time for to spark the spark plug, the spark plugs light up. And that's why it gets the gas out and powers it? It makes the explosion stroke on the four cylinder engine. We had that tractor in our shop probably six weeks. Now we didn't work on it. Saw it all the time, but they might have been seven or eight of us working on it one day. It was a different challenge and uh, I hope everybody enjoys it. Being in the older age group, the older tractors is what I like. So. We got it to work and we think we've got a masterpiece.